I'm going to be able to follow him uh, in the arena and ask all of those questions that everybody's always afraid to Beautiful. ask. So my hands, they move a little back and forward. way. They are a little slower, I slow the walk. I keep the activity. I turn my body, it's very important. Sometimes you will notice that the, it's a little large, but come on, if she loses the balance, come on, it's better to do a little large than not do it so small where she is going to get confused and is going to get punished. So now, left, slow down. I keep the activity. The neck must remain quite nice and long. And I release soft. And the neck, it must fall in the contact. You see, if I bring my hands back, she comes with me. But if I put my hands forward, she is going forward. So the contact is, is a very fine, fine um, issue in the training, in the horse world, in training, because a lot of people call contact when they got an, an enormous grip or an enormous force to the mouth in the tongue of the horse. But the contact, it can be interpreted in a couple different ways. So if I was going to do a collective walk, I would there, because in there, I feel... Okay, so what was there? What did you do? What was there that got her more active? You didn't touch the rein? Did no, you... I, I, I just got a little bit more active in, in my legs. In your I leg? I a little bit with my leg. Okay. I picked her up a little bit more in the neck, but not much more. You can still see it's got the movement. So you watch this difference. And I'm just showing you with two fingers so they can see the, the contact. So, or if I did this, now, ah, then it's a crooked horse. Now it's become strong if I push too much. So the contact should not be different and I should not force it into a collective. I should just hold a little bit more. The frame becomes a little higher. Uh -huh. the, the, the pole becomes a little higher. Uh -huh. Not much. The, the, the vertical of the head should be vertical to the ground. But when I get to a medium or lengthening walk, the neck should go forward and my hand should move a little bit more and the hind leg should have a tight the footprints in front by at least a couple, uh, couple footprints. I will do it now from the, second, from the third level or third stage, excuse me. So we started one from here, the other one we started from here. So now I'm going to start this one from here. So now, this is more like a Grand Prix, but I still got you between the ears. Mm -hmm. We have a steeper half pass, right. And you saw the half pass improve. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to go back to the most simple half pass again. Why? Because I want to leave her with confidence if he on that last half pass lost the confidence. So, I come back from the first stage of half pass. I come back from here. I put a little flexion. And I just, this is simple. I mean, you can have a cup of tea here if you wanted to <laughs> during half pass. And, and you can see how simple was that. OK, so it looks simple, but let's ask a couple questions. Sure. So in the half pass, are you thinking shoulder in for a few steps and then going to half